Today we're going to give you a tour of our carnivorous plants. First, I'm going to show you the pitcher plant. You can see right here it is hanging behind me. We have it hanging in the kitchen. It is a nice low light plant. It doesn't need much light and we can just open the blinds if we need to. Now I'm going to show you how we take care of it. It is potted in a nice pot of like moss and to water it um, we just squirt it with just a few we squirts every once in a while with distilled water in our spray bottle here. Come check it out. Check it out here. There's the moss. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another way this plant feeds is um, the, there are these pitchers that grow off the leaves. That's why it's called a pitcher plant. And the pitchers fill up with this liquid and it kind of acts like perfume. And it attracts bugs so they climb in there and it dissolves the bugs. Now I'm going to show you to how we feed it with an ant here. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Little ant, okay. Mm -hmm. Put it in there. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Ooh, there's actually three ants in there. Huh. And there's some little gnats in there. Cool. Dissolving in that liquid. Wow, that is really cool. Let's check out another honey in this, this one. one. There's this is there one here. In there? There's an ant in there. Oh, there's a little, a, a couple little bugs in there. And then this one. Wait. There's something in that one. Uh huh. Kind of hard to see though. Oh, there's an ant in there too. And some little bugs. Yep. Wow. So these are like fully mature pitchers, and here's like a little, like a little baby one. And mm -hmm. then at the end of each of these leaves, that's where they grow. Mm, right here. Oh, there's, there's a little baby one. one. Hold on. Let's see. Little baby one forming right there. And yeah, you see, there's some up here just starting to grow up. Just right there. A little items yep. there? Off the tip of all of them. Mm -hmm. One here. Every leaf gets a picture eventually. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. See a little bit of water and a little bit of bugs. Yep. Yep. So here we have a couple old ones that died and we trimmed off. This one kind of looks like an old pipe. <laughs> and then if they kind of start to get brown on the leaves, we'd trim it off right here. So the energy would stay in the plant and not try to keep the leaf alive because it's already starting to die. Now we're going to cut up one of these old dead ones open to so you can see what's inside if you ever wonder what's inside of a pitcher plant. Kind of cool. Yeah. Looks like there's a little hole in the center that goes up into the, where the stem is. Mm -hmm. That's like its stomach. Kind of, yeah. Right there. This little stomach, and it goes into the stem and up to the plant. Mm -hmm. Now let's go look at the Venus flytraps that we put in our closed terrarium and we'll show you a link to that video in the end of the video. Now we, you see our closed terrarium here. Take the lid off and then 
gonna feed one of those little traps. Mm -hmm. What do we got in here? A little spider? Mm -hmm. We caught a little spider. He's playing dead right now, but he's alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and feed him. Okay. You want to tickle their barbs to get them to close, right? Here. Wait. Yep. Go ahead and tickle the barbs. See that close? Wow, nice. And then it, the spider is going to be digested and feed the plant. Yeah, nice. You well, there, see? There's an isopod right there mm -hmm. in that one that's half eaten. Nice. This is a very healthy looking um, Venus flytrap terrarium. Mm -hmm. See another one closed over here. Is he's probably eating something? Mm -hmm. Probably another isopod. So we put isopods and other little bugs that eat the mold and mildew in here and feed the Venus flytraps. So those are our, our carnivorous plants, and we hope you like this video. If you like these, please subscribe and check out our other videos.